Hi, just a few words about the accommodation supplement. Its purpose is to help care recipients with the cost of their accommodation where they can't contribute to all or part of their costs. The supplement is paid directly to you, the service providers. The Department of Human Services sets a supplement based on the recipient's income and assets. The recipient does not need to inform the service provider of this information. There are three levels of the accommodation supplement for eligible recipients in permanent residential care. Your facility's buildings and condition determine which one you get. If your facility is new or significantly refurbished since 20 April 2012, then the higher supplement is paid. If the buildings are not new or significantly refurbished but meet specified building requirements, then the second level supplement is paid. Finally, if the buildings are not new or significantly refurbished and do not meet the specified building requirements, then a lower rate supplement applies. Something to note is the difference in the supplement payment before 1 July 2014 and after that date. For example, a care recipient determined eligible the accommodation supplement before 1 July 2014 had their eligibility based on their assets alone. After 1 July 2014, their eligibility is based on both their assets and income, as well as meeting certain other requirements such as ACFI. The amount of the accommodation supplement paid to providers is also based on the supported resident ratio and the service status. And if you can't see the supplement on the payment statement, remember, prior to 1 July 2014, it was listed as an accommodation supplement. But after that date, it's paid as a means-tested accommodation supplement or MTAS. And if new means information is provided, this could reassess the care recipient from date of entry. It may lead to a not low means resident becoming a low means resident. In that case, entitlement to the MTAS would go to the provider and any RAD would need to be repaid. For more information about the accommodation supplement, changes since 1 July 2014, building requirements or the resident ratio, go to agecare.health.gov.au or you can call us on 1800 195 206.